Hello guys. Oh, oh no, oh no. I've got way too much of a gory. Ah! Oh no. I don't have a Did you just say a box? Yeah, I did. Well, guess what? You're in luck. You get a free box today. A free box? Whoa, wait. I'm meant to put stuff. No, no, no. You take one like this. Okay, then. You open the flap. Then you open. Well, I've got two here, so. Yep. Then you get to have two for spare then. Oh, that's lovely. So open up like this, open up like this. And put your hand in. Like this, so try and fluff this down. Ah. There we go. Press down. And if you want to reinforce the box, just fold like that. There you go, there's your box. Whoa! I can finally put my origami. Well, half that broke off. Hmm. Oh, says that. This is why, children, if you are making 3D origami, please do glue your fingers. Because I actually took this hole apart and re glued. You can see your ear and the glue's on there. Even though it still take part of the bits off. But still. Anyway, there you go. And you know what? I'll save this because. Obviously though, I'll be showing this, how to make this, in the video I'll show you how to saw them. But what if now you're taking it home? And let's go and say you put all your stuff back in to where it was, and now you've got a box. What do I do? Ah, oh, put it, no, just again, don't put it in the bin. You can reuse it, you can turn over, you could where this bits are, put these in, and push this this fold down for these bits and this is already wanting to go this way so fold that and boom and then all you have to do is put it inside like that and boom there you go you got some of the new boxes so yeah and i'll be showing you how to do that in today's video so let's go and get started on how to do this. Now, this is a really cool thing. But before obviously this video starts, remember please do subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you never miss another video. Comment down below what you should do next. And please do leave a like if you actually like this. So now what you need to do is you need an A4 sheet of paper. And if you want to make a box full of a bunch of boxes inside, we need a lot more for the paper. So what you just first start to do is you need to first start folding it like this. Then you want to turn and go to that and then fold. like this then you want to open up you want to fold this to this and this to this so if you understand i'll show you so you want to fold it like this so by the way these are really simple to make so turn over and do the exact same to the other side or just to the center of the side and you still have to turn but yeah so now you need to open it up you need to open up this bit and you can see I have got some folds, you want to fold down like this, crease, fold this bit down like this, crease, then fold this bit, and I'm sorry, I hold it at this point, and then crease, then you need to do that to the other side, so fold, crease, fold down, and fold down like that and then obviously crease. So now you've got something that looks a bit like this. Now you need to go get this and fold that into the middle. Like 
like this. Being able to fold this bit where that ride is now and fold that down. Then you want to turn over and you want to do the same as the other side, so fold that in and then fold that in and then fold this down like this and if you want to go and fold now you need to go and fold this up to there if it leads you this way and this way there and then you want to start folding like that so you try and crease and then there's one of them so now to start making this is you need to get this box. You need to open it up and open up the whole thing. So press down. And now what you want to do is just turn over and you also go and do reinforce it. This is the main box that you're going to keep all of them in. Now, if you are wondering, this box is the exact same size as every single one. So use A4 to put things inside and A4 for this. So every single box is the same and if this does ever get ripped, well you just go get in the front and open it. So now once you've done that, now you've got a little carrier case and now you basically need to put one in. But, hmm, that isn't enough. So you make one more. And you're like, hmm, that's still not enough. So you make another one. And then later on, now you might even get more obsessed. And get another one. You're like, hmm, there's a lot more room. So let's go and get some more in there. And then next day, boom, I've just got a full on stack. And boom. And by the way, this isn't still full. It's basically all this left. So yeah, and this is how I saw my boxes, but now let's go on to what you need these boxes for. Now I usually just, just pop things in the bottom there. The second order, if you ever gone into 3D origami, I fold my pieces and then put it inside these boxes, and then afterwards and I fold them in, and obviously, well, yeah, obviously put it in slide bags like this, that's just one of them and then make really cool models like these that I've already done as you can see right here these are all done with 3D origami but this is 1 out of 64 obviously if you want to do that I've got a YouTube video on 3D origami but yeah and obviously these you can actually use for bin if you want like because obviously it's paper if you obviously like Open it up again. I just scrunch it up and throw in the bin. There you go. But obviously, you might maybe be wondering that's a bit waste of paper. You used to have like a newspapers and stuff like that. You used to have like scrap paper that you'll never use, but still, you couldn't use it for a box instead. But you obviously scrunch it up, put it in the bin because that paper was gonna go in the bin anyway. So, why not make it useful and do it that? But also, I just keep it as this. And when the box gets all ripped, tatty and stuff like that. Then I just throw it in the bin, I got a new box, but yes, so yes, and there you go, that is how you make, that's quite heavy actually, that's how you make a box with a bunch of boxes inside, where you go and obviously find that bit, open that up, flatten like this, open these tabs and just open up. I'll put all your hands in there and just and then what you need to do is you need to put your hands and just go on the rim like this oh so you do that on both and then you should have a box so there you go that is basically how you make so many boxes and if you are wondering if you want to put boxes together you open that you put the flap inside that flap so basically this see what I mean oh, so you could then put one there one there and connect them won't connect as good but they are obviously a connection 
so yep, yeah, and that is how you make this tutorial. And also comment down below what else I should make. And so in the next one, well, let's go and see what next video we do. And I'll see you in the next one. And you know, you know, with me, I could make this. My one do okay, that is too insane. But actually, it's actually really easy to make, and it doesn't even take that long. It takes 20 minutes to up to a half an hour. Depends. I might maybe do that. Maybe definitely for like um, Mother's Day and stuff like that. You can definitely make a, a flower. So, yeah. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.